About a thousand kids have spent the last few months designing, building, and testing their own robots. CBS 2's Joy Benedict introduces us to some of the top creative kids. With chance and face paint, they may look like cheerleaders, but these third and fourth graders are engineers. I get to uh, build robots and program them. You heard right. These young ladies, all Girl Scouts, got together and built a robot. Mr. Potato Face from Bunny Bird's Land. But they call him Potato for short. And they're competing in the first Lego League Regional Tournament. Push the ambulance right there. 96 teams from all over Southern California competed this weekend. This year's theme is Nature's Fury. So each team has two and a half minutes to complete up to 15 missions related to disaster relief. We're getting the pets to their people and getting supplies into the safe zone. It sounds complicated, and it is. But there are 27,000 teams all over the world. Children aged 9 to 14 with the same game board building different robots and learning to love science and engineering. When I grow up, I want to be an engineer. Me too. And believe it or not, girls are basically taking over this competition. This year in Los Angeles, 41% of the students building robots are young ladies, up 15% from last year. Yesterday's team was an all Girl Scout team. They won a regional championship award. All girls. Making them eligible for the world competition in Spain. And although the ladies are surely shining bright, programs like these make us all winners. One, two, three, Lego! Because today they're building potato, but tomorrow landing on Mars. And with blue hair and sass, showing that science is cool enough for girls. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.